So today I talked about the evolution of C4 photosynthesis. Uh, the C4 photosynthetic pathway has evolved multiple times in plants um, from the ancestral C3 state and I discussed some hypotheses relating to how we think that how that has happened many times. So specifically I discussed um, how proteins which are used in C4 photosynthesis are present in the C3 state and they're already working together in the C3 state, so it's not such a leap to be, for them to be working together in the C4 um, condition. And secondly, I discussed the fact that many of the genes which are used in C4 photosynthesis appear to be regulated in C4 plants by existing regulatory systems which are operational in the C3 plants. Yeah, so on average, um, C4 plants um, grow about 50% faster than C3 plants. Um, this is true for natural vegetation and it's also true for crops. Uh, so if you, come, if you grow a C3 crop and a C4 crop side by side, you'd get about a 50% faster rate of growth in a C4 crop um, if they're under identical conditions. So at the field level, it could have a major impact because um, if you were able to convert a C3 crop into a C4 plant, you'd have about a 50% increase in yield, we think. But at the same time, that increase in yield comes with benefits because nitrogen use efficiency and water use efficiency are improved in the C4 system. So you, for, a, for a smallholder farmer, you could get a yield benefit, but you'd also um, have an impact on nitrogen and water use.